Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video we are doing a couple of things with this big tote of nail polish. This is actually one of three totes that I have that are nail polishes that I've purchased or gotten in de-stashes, gotten through mystery boxes, etc. and not been able to add to my nail polish app because it's not in the app. Now sometimes it's easy and I'll just add a couple here and there but so far these were the ones that were not in there when I went to go add them after I purchased them. I need to go ahead and figure out how many of these are now in the app or add the new ones like the BCBs. Those were new purchases. You probably saw those in a recent haul here. Quite a few actually on the top are from recent hauls. There's the Vapids, the Rogue Lacquer, at least a couple of them that weren't in the app. We're also doing Another thing, we're trying to look for my Bees Knees Lacquer. I'm missing at least two, if not three bottles of nail polish from my Bees Knees Lacquer. I'm trying to get together those nail polishes so that I can do a My Collection tour of my Bees Knees Lacquer. And I'm missing at least one that's in the app, as well as at least a couple of backup bottles that I'm pretty sure I had at some point and I can't find them. So I'm not sure if somehow they wound up in here. Uh, anything's possible. <laughs> and then we're also looking for polishes to de-stash. So uh, these ones, like I said, have been sitting there in this pile of polishes that I haven't been able to add to my collection. So these are not included in any of my collection numbers. So I thought I would go uh, through it and before I tried to add them to my collection, see if I could de-stash any of them. So we're doing a lot. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to bore you with too many of the details about some of these polishes, especially the newer ones, since I will have already described those in the haul video. But let's go ahead and pick up the two BCP lacquers that are right on top. These were new enough that they were not in the app when I purchased them. These were um, Kuriokami and Yuki Ona from the Unicorn and the Mythics for April of 2022. We've got a beautiful blurpily color and an orange cream. I'm not de-stashing these. I just got them and I really, really like them. All right. Um, a few others that were recent were the two Vapids. These two were new enough that they were not in the app at the time that I bought them. Uh, this was Wendigo and Medusa. Again, not in the app, but I'm definitely keeping them. I was very impressed with those. Uh, let's see, we've got one from, from Navni. This was Party in a Bottle. I'm keeping this one as well. This is a beautiful reflective polish. If you haven't checked out her brand on Etsy, I would suggest looking at her polishes. She's got some beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, we've also got the ones that I got from Lacquer from that Good Bowl haul a couple of videos back. Uh, uh, quite a few of these were not in the app, so I wasn't able to add them. Um, I think I'm keeping the green one. These I had put in there because I thought I would keep them, but I think I will get rid of the gold one, the gilded color. I, I just don't know that I would use it. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I could, but we're going to de-stash it. And then this light skin tone one, I think I will hold on to this one mainly because I think this is a really good undie color. And if the formulation on these are good, which I've heard a number of people say that they are, this would be a very nice one for an undie polish for a lot of different colors. Then we have a zombie claw and one from Lacquer is in the air, Squash Blossom and Dreamscape respectively. Keeping both of these, these were fairly new purchases as well. Squash Blossom was a color that I had been eyeing in that sort of a yellow orange color. And Dreamscape is a beautiful blue. I think this one might have been somewhat of a squishy formula if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I think slightly, slightly squishy. So I liked that one. I will have to come back and do some comparisons of this type of color because I've been, again, trying to find that right shade of this. I will no doubt keep multiples of them, obviously, but um, I'm not going to get rid of all of the colors in that same family. But um, if I have any that are spot on dupes of each other, there's no point in me keeping multiple bottles. But for the meantime, we're keeping those guys. Then we've got one from Envy. This is also a newer purchase from PPU for January. This is Sumac Vat. Keeping this, this is one of those beautiful reds that I do like. It leans towards the berry side of things and it's got hollow and iridescent glitter. Uh, this was one that I bought at Goodwill for 99 cents by Sibella or Sibella. 
actually I'm not really sure how to pronounce the S-E-I offhand, but it's called Basic Bell. Um, I liked this at the time, obviously. I picked it out specifically. Whoa, let's not spill nail polish all over my nail polish. That would be fantastic. Um, hmm. I'm not feeling it anymore, so I think I will de-stash this one. Um, it seems to be a full bottle. It seems to be in good condition. I just am not as excited about it as when I picked it up. So we're going to de-stash that one. Then we've got one from Cupcake and one from Schlee. These are both keepers as well. We have Levitating and Monica. Keeping those. Two from Rogue. We've got Throwback and Creative Chaos. These were from the latest haul that I did from Rogue. I bought her four piece collection from the Imagineering collection, which this one is from Creative Chaos. And then Throwback was her Rogue Aversary polish that she released. So keeping those. We've got the Jelly Belly polish from Sally Hansen. This one is in coconut. It's your standard white. Um, figured I would keep this because it's a standard white and there's a million different ways to use these from being an undie to nail art and using on swatches so we'll hold on to that. Uh, Deborah Lippman's Single Ladies. This is that oxblood color of red that I talk about quite a lot that I really do enjoy. Again I'll have to come back and compare it to more polishes that I have. Um, I can think of at least one from Butter London called Absolutely Lutely that I'm pretty sure I kept and it's in this same family so I'll have to do some comparisons there. Two from Crisable Designs. We've got Action Peaked and Crystalline Shards. Uh, Polish Gamers Box. Yeah, both from Polish Gamers Box. <laughs> Keeping both of these. These are gorgeous, gorgeous polishes. We've got another from BCB Lacquers, also keeping this. This one is called Poor Unfortunate Souls. If you've heard me rave about her polishes in the last couple of videos, you'll know that she's been killing it with these polishes lately from Specialty Boxes. This one came out in HHC. Yeah, HHC, but she's also gotten some, uh, had some come out in Youth Unicorn and the Mythics. Um, I think the other ones were Polished Gamers Box and... I think Polish Gamers Box and HHC. So if you haven't been keeping tabs on BCB and you like this kind of like flaky, uh, metallic flaky in your polish, definitely keep an eye on her. Start looking for her polishes. Uh, <laughs> in a blur alert. <laughs> um, but I have been really loving her polishes. They're very beautiful and unique. So I've been grabbing quite a lot of hers over the last couple of months, at least since the beginning of the year. So not de that one. Uh, we've got a girly bits and a painted pretty. The girly bits is what happens in Vegas ends up on TikTok from the Polish and Dreams Las Vegas event. And then the polished, uh, painted pretty is Pac-Man, uh, no, not Pac-Man, part man, part machine, all hero from Polished Gamers Box. Keeping both of those, they're purple, they're up my alley, they're gorgeous. We've got another Schlee polish and a Cadillacer. I don't think anyone's surprised that I'm keeping both of these. The Schlee is just a glitter and flaky bomb. It is gorgeous. Look at that hollow. That one is called Purple Garnet. And the Cadillacer is a bad dream. Mixing purple and blue together. One of my favorite combinations. So keeping both of those. We've got another from Lacquers in the Air and one from uh, Geekish Glitter. The Geekish Glitter is End of the World from Polished Gamers Box and the one from Lacquers in the Air is Cyan. This is one of their jelly polishes, so it is a jelly like cobalt blue. So keeping both of those. We've got one from Fiendish Fancies. This one is called Quid Pro Quo Clarice from Polish Pickup. Wow, back in 2018. I think I will de-stash this. I have a ton of pumpkin-y orange shades, and while this is very beautiful, I think I have other tones of orange that I like a little bit more. This is sort of a medium shade of orange, and lately especially, I've been liking the brighter tones of orange for summer. But of course, if you've watched any of my fall videos the last couple of years, you'll know that I love my fall polishes. And this just isn't quite as deep as a color that I would pull, so I think we'll de-stash that one. 
We've got one from Paint It Pretty. This is Take Me Away from Polish Pickup. Definitely keeping this one. This is another beautiful combination, like a magenta with purple and gold and green. Love that combination. A couple more Poetry Cowgirl from the Polish and Dreams Overpours. That one's at Neon Roses. Definitely keeping that. This one is from Penelope Luce called uh, Trinka. Whoa, let's redo that. Uh, Troika from HHC. Definitely keeping that. The toppers that I got from 77 Nail Lacquer from the Indie Collective for March. Keeping those. In fact, these need to be added to my nail app so that I can add these to, to my summer nail polish rack. Uh, two beautiful blues. One from Garden Path Lacquer and the other from 77 Nail Lacquer. We have Good Morning Lollipop 2.0 and Stereo Glitch. Keeping both of those, these are definitely not dupes. They're in the same color family. Again, I was looking for this kind of blue. I don't know if you can see a theme here, <laughs> but this sort of a bright turquoise color, uh, maybe not turquoise, mm, aqua, blue, no turquoise. I mean, blue turquoise for sure, but um, it's that deep aqua summer turquoise color, but yeah. Definitely keeping both of those. The Lollipop from Garden Path. Uh, this was a re-release, I think, from an older polish pickup when they were Lollipop Posse. Has flakies and shimmer. And then the one from 77 has a shimmer, like a tone-on-tone -tone shimmer. So a blue to purple against a turquoise base. A couple of more. We've got Luna Lacquer and Vanessa Molina. Luna Lacquer is Starstruck from Polish and Dreams. And the Vanessa Molina is I Won't Say I'm In Love from Polish Pickup. Again, two fairly newer purchases from this year, keeping both. We've got one from Noodles Nail Polish and All Mixed Up Lacquer. All Mixed Up Lacquer was in one of my most recent haul videos. This one is Perfectly Imperfect. My camera doesn't want to focus on this, but it's Perfectly Imperfect. And then the Noodles Nail Polish is called Acadia. I'm keeping the purple. I am contemplating getting rid of the noodles. I think I will destash Acadia. It is a beautiful, beautiful dark green polish with flakies and shimmer, but this is definitely in that shade of green that I had purchased quite a lot of in the beginning of my nail polish collecting, and I just have, I don't think, ever worn them. So I always go for other colors, purples, blues, pumpkins, oranges, all of those good things. Even pinks and reds at this point, almost reds. <laughs> we'll go with just pinks um, and other shades, but yeah, just not reaching for these. So we'll pass that one along. Then we have a cuticula and a painted pretty. The cuticula is Dahlia. The painted pretty is finishing this fight. Definitely keeping both of these. And now here's a weird thing. These all sort of are in the same family of greens you've got a deep like tealy green but by comparison the one from noodles is almost more like an evergreen whereas these two i feel lean in the deep teal almost bluer leaning color if that makes sense so i like these two more so i think i would reach for those over this one then I have an older polish from Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is Pew 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 2.0. <laughs> I was hesitant about this one when I got it in a mystery box, but I think I will hold on to it and maybe try to wear it for spring next year. It's a very unique polish. Not exactly up my alley, but it is really cute. So it's a soft like buttercream yellow loaded with these uh, a huge variety of glitters in neon and metallic. It could be really fun. I'll, I'll have to try it out. Um, I had gone back and forth after I purchased it about whether I was going to keep it, de-stash it, no, keep it. And finally I was like, well, <laughs> I should at least swatch it and see if I like it. So we're going to do that and see if I like it. Uh, we've got another from Luna Lacquer and one from Linby Designs. The Linby Designs is Squid Goals from... Polish pickup, I think. No, HHC. And the Luna Lacquer is putting on the Ritz from the Polish and Dreams event. Keeping both of these. Then we've got one from Sassy Pants Polish. This one is Deadly Nightshade. 
I don't know when this one would have come out and it is a gorgeous shade but I think I will de-stash it. It's one of those colors that, again, I was buying a lot of this deep twinkly polish. So like loaded deep blues, deep greens, blacks, um, dark navies that were loaded with flakies or iridescent shimmer. And this is one of them. I think I got this in a mystery box, but I just am not sure that I would wear this. It's one of those, again, those deeper colors that I just don't ever reach for so I will be limiting how many of them I keep and I think this is another for our D stash we've got another from Navni Beauty this is Rhodolite Garnet definitely keeping this this is another of those formulas from her that I absolutely adore this is gorgeous hollow and glitter yes please We've got a soft blue from Mace Polish called A Whole New World. I think I will de-stash this one. This one, again, I think came in a mystery box inspired by Aladdin based on the name. But I have soft colors like this that I would wear for winter over this. So I think, I think I'll think i de-stash this because, like I said, there's other colors that I would pick in this same color family that are soft and wintry before I reach for this one mainly because it's that shimmer that's prominent in here is gold so I just am not sure that I would reach for this all right well we've got six de-stashed polishes so far that's pretty pretty good one from Lily Pat this is Hungry Hippo from Polish Pickup November of last year again somewhat in the same family of the turquoisey ones that I was looking for the turquoise colors except this is actually greener leaning this one does have flakies and just to compare it to the one with flakies from garden path you can tell that they are different tonally this is definitely more of a bright blue whereas the one from lily pad is a greener version we've got another from Lindby designs this is rainbow road this is a really beautiful dark blue with these shards of i think hollow and yeah definitely hollow and then iridescent flakies. This is a very dark blue, somewhat reminiscent of the color that I was telling you guys that I have bought a lot of back in the day and I very seldomly reach for. Initially, I definitely was thinking of keeping this when I unboxed it. Maybe I even purchased it. I don't even remember. It's from Polished Gamers Box, January of last year. Hmm. I'll have to keep it and swatch it. Yeah. But like I said, it's one of those colors that I, I bought a lot back in the day and apparently even as uh, close as last year that I just don't seem to reach for. So as a lot of you know, the longer your nail polish, the more your, your tastes sort of shift and change uh, polishes that you like and still do like in the bottle. I mean, this is gorgeous. Just maybe aren't ones that you'd reach for. So I'll have to swatch it and see if it's one that I can picture myself wearing. It is beautiful. It's got this brighter blue shimmer going on. We'll hold on to it for the time being. Uh, then we've got a Sassy Pants Polish. This one is XOXO. Very holographic pink. Somewhat in the blush or champagne color family. I think I probably got this in a mystery box as well. I think, hmm, I think I will de-stash this one. It's got a beautiful array of things in it. The hollow in this is stunning, but I think we're going to de-stash it. Yeah. Before I change my mind, we're going to de-stash it. Okay. One less to try to add to my app. All right. We've got another from Sassy Pants Polish. This is Cutie Pie. Ooh, it's purple. <laughs> oh no. I oh, know. Well, this is pretty unique. You've got a purple with green shimmer, then you've got these purple metallic flakies and holographic bits in here. This I might have to come back and swatch because that is really unique. Purple and green or purple and blue are definitely a favorite combination of mine. And I don't think I have anything quite like that. 
the neck of this bottle definitely needs a good cleaning though. But that's really pretty. We'll hold on to it for right now. A lacquer is in the air. This is Yosemite. I bought this specifically off of her website, so I will be keeping that one. We've got two more from Sassy Pants Polish. We've got Tea Cakes on the left, Grout Fit on the right. I'm pretty sure I bought Tea Cakes, yeah, from the charity box. So I'm pretty sure I bought that myself. And then Grout Fit, I think, came in a mystery box. I'm going to de-stash Grout Fit. I just don't see myself reaching for that. Um, tea Cakes... I think would have made a very cute polish for spring. It's a soft blush toned pink with iridescent glitters. So we'll keep that one. All right, we're up to eight de-stashed, yay. Next up is, oof, cuter cuticles, I think. I always second guess myself on these. This one is Speckled Heart Nebula. This is one of those reds that I really do like because it is so, somewhat pink leaning, which might not make sense to people that have heard me say that pinks are one of those colors along with reds that are not my favorites. But for some reason, when you mix red with pink, I really like it. Is that weird or what? Um, but yeah, this one's really pretty and unique. I think I will hold on to that one. I like all the colors that you can see in it. This one is another from Lacquer. This one was Crowning Crumpet. Again, I really like this shade. I will definitely have to come back and do some comparisons though because again, this is a shade I buy quite a lot. I probably have a duplicate. We've got one from DRK and one from Color Spectrum Polish on the right. We've got Nothing Is Gone Forever from DRK and a, a baby's got to do what a baby's got to do. I actually ended up with two of these from two different mystery boxes that I bought. So I will be de-stashing this one. I don't know what happened to my second bottle, but I don't need two of them. Uh, very cute little polish with shimmers and flakies. Uh, the DRK, Nothing Is Gone Forever, is a really beautiful purple with flakies. Is it a magnetic? It is. Ooh. So keeping that. We have a Vanessa Molina and one from Stella Chroma. The Stella Chroma is Sagittarius. The Vanessa Molina is called Burning Soul. Keeping Sagittarius and a Vanessa Molina. I think this one is a thermal. Yeah, it's a thermal polish. And to be honest, I don't know what I was expecting when I got this, but I remember having it on my wish list. But it just hasn't, I don't know. It's maybe the base is a little bit too charcoal leaning. I don't know if that makes makes any sense because I knew it was going to be gray, like a black. But anyways, I think we're going to de-stash it. See if someone else might really, really enjoy that because it's a gorgeous a flaky polish. It's just not, not calling to me. Up to 10. Very cool. Two from Jen and Berries. We have Say Hello to My Little Friend on the left and Yes, My Gatekeeper on the right. This is another brand that I need to pay better attention to because when I have gotten her polishes, I have been blown away by them in person. So I'm keeping both of them. We have another from Lacquer is in the air. This is Puppy Snuggles. This, I think, might have been the first polish that I bought from Lacquer is in the air through Polish Pickup back in December. And I think for the time being, I will be holding onto it. I'm going to have to come back and do some swatches and comparisons, but it is a really rather unique shade of orange, kind of like that deep papaya color that I was looking for earlier. So I think I'll keep it. It's an interesting mix of glitter, so I'll have to see how I like it on my nails, but I'm, I'm really digging the color, which is why I got it. Two more. Oh, there we go. There's Baby's Gotta Do What a Baby's Gotta Do. Two more from Color Spectrum Polish. So the second one of Baby's Gotta Do What a Baby's Gotta Do, and the other one is Fall Harvest Mary Jane and Manny's. I think I'm going to keep this orange. This has a beautiful multi-chrome with flakies. Let's see, do I want to keep this as a topper? Let's see, let's see how it would look over one of the colors that I've swatched recently. Let's see it over Vintage, Orly's Vintage. So it definitely adds like a white-ish sheen. Definitely changes it up. 
I have a bunch of toppers though, so I think I will go ahead and de-stash them. Both bottles of a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Up to 11. All right, then we've got two from Louise. We've got Emerald City on the left, how, a horse of a different color on the right. And I'm keeping the purple one for sure. And the green is actually a very beautiful shade of green. I think until I can do some comparisons, I will go ahead and hold on to that one. Then we have two more from Louise. These all came from a mystery box a while back. The one on the left is Top of the Morning. The one on the right is Over the Rainbow. This is actually a very pretty, like, translucent gold topper with hollow. Keeping that one. And the blue has some gold shimmer in it and also some flakies. Hmm. It's got beautiful hollow in it too. But I think I will de-stash this one. So we will get rid of Louise over the rainbow. I don't know why my camera does not want to focus up close today, but that's over the rainbow. Up to 12. Next up, we have two from Savvy Chic. These also came in a mystery box a while back. We have Rhodonite on the left and Midnight Night on the right. Want to keep Midnight Night. I love this really rich, deep purple. The Bubblegum Pink, I think I will go ahead and de-stash. It's one of those middle tone, like Barbie pinks. And lately, the pinks that I'm more drawn to are at least a little bit brighter. I don't know if that, maybe that one has more white in it. I mean, no, I know it's got other components in it. Um, that one has more white in it. But the ones that I'm wanting for, uh, for summer are like bright, bright pink, like neon watermelon. So I think I will de-stash Rhodonite. We've got one from Astrologic. Astrologic? No. <laughs> I keep wanting to make that a C. I think that is astrology. This one is Como Rubby. And I'm not really sure where this one came from. But it's a beautiful shade of green. And by come from, I mean where it came out from. Like a box or anything like that. I know it came from a mystery box that I bought. Um, hmm. I think I'll de-stash it. I think I'll de-stash it. It's a beautiful shade of green, but the majority of the sprinkles throughout it, the sprinkles, <laughs> the majority of the components in it are a gold component. So I think I have other colors in this green family, which I really do like, that have components that I enjoy better. So I will de-stash that one. Up to 14 people. Woohoo! All right, then we've got two more from Lacquers in the Air. Do we have a third? Yes, we do. Three from Lacquers in the Air. The one on the left is Mark Wood. The one in the middle is Water. And the one on the right is Nature's Rainbow from Polish Pickup. These are all different finishes. The one on the left is like a deep green leaning teal with shimmer and hollow. The middle one is a beautiful multichrome with hollow. And then we have Flakies. Did I buy this one? Okay, some of these I don't remember purchasing specifically, but I, I may have. Hmm. I'll keep this one. I love the flakies. I'll just have to compare the tone and see how I like it. Because, I mean, it, it's kind of reminiscent of the one that I'm de-stashing from Noodles, but the flakies in here are brighter than the one called Water. I will be keeping. That is a multi-chrome with... Uh, hollow, love that kind of finish. Then Merc Wood. Was this one I got intentionally? Hard to say actually. It seems like it's a beautiful color. Just trying to figure out if I would wear it. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'll de-stash it. I think we will de-stash Merc Wood. All right, we've got one from Cuter Cuticles. This one is Cherry Blossom. And I think I will de-stash this one. It is a really cute glitter curly, but I don't see myself reaching for this one with this combination. So I think I will de-stash that one. We've got one from Anchor and Heart. This one is Wherever I'm With You. 
It's a beautiful shade of like a grapey purple. There's shimmer and multi-chrome flakies. I think this one may have come in a mystery box as well. It is really pretty. I just, I think we're going to de-stash it. Yeah, we're going to de-stash that one. And we've got one from Cameo Colors. This is Dia Ops. Oh, goodness. Dia Optesia, which I believe is a gemstone. It's a beautiful green. This is that tone of green that I like. It's, it leans more like jewel tone. So it's dark but vibrant at the same time. It does have a lot of gold in it, though. Would I wear it? I think we'll give it a shot. I like I like all the hollow in this one. We'll we'll give it a shot. Two from Static Lacquer. The pumpkin one on the end is Tiger Lily. Then the white one is You Can't Kill the Boogeyman. Hmm. Uh, Tiger Lily has a very beautiful mix of glitters, but again, pumpkin shades I have a lot of, and this one is actually more of a less saturated color. So I think I'll destash that one, and then You Can't Kill the Boogeyman from Ink 2020. Offhand, I actually don't know what that would be. There's so many boxes. Um, yeah, I can't think of what that would be. I-N-K. Um, but it is a shimmer and hollow polish in sort of a pale gray. I think I will de-stash that one as well. I just don't see myself reaching for that soft, soft shade. Yeah, I again, I think it sort of falls into the, the realm of that one that I'm getting rid of from Mace. Was it Mace? There's other shades that I would pull before this one. So I think we'll de-stash those. We're up to 19 people. That's a record. <laughs> uh, next up is Vanessa Molina. And this one is Fantasy or Reality. I know I bought this specifically uh, from HHC back in, what was that, 2020? And sorry if you can hear the rain. It is really coming down. I like it. <laughs> um, this is a beautiful dark green full of brighter multichromes and shimmer multichromes. Brighter multichrome flakies and some shimmer. There's also some hollow. I think I will hold on to this. Again, I'll have to come back and do some comparisons and keep only a few in this color family because like I said, I don't reach for it very often, but I do like it. The next two, we have one from Glistening Glow called Wedding Gown White. Then one from this one, which might be <sighs> Soothing, Soothing Soul, maybe? So that I might be totally making that up. Uh, but it's called Fairy Floss from Polish Pickup. I'm pretty sure both of these came to me in a mystery box. I will be keeping the one from Glisten and Glow, Wedding Gown White. Again, white polishes come in very, very handy. And actually, well, I was going to say actually by comparison. No, actually by comparison. <laughs> The one from Sally Hansen the, in the Jelly Belly formula is a little bit different. I mean, they're both white, but the one that's called Coconut has a little bit of yellow in it by comparison, just a pinch. But like I said, whites are very, very handy. I use them quite a lot, so we'll hold on to that. The one from Soothing Soul, I, again, I think uh, that's just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting that. <laughs> I could be totally wrong, but I think I will go ahead and de-stash this one. Yeah, I think I will de-stash this. I'm just not sure I would reach for it. I think I may have got this on my own. I don't actually recall. We are up to 20 people. That is definitely a record. <laughs> All right, the next two are from Twisting Nethers. The green one is Freya's Sanctuary, and the one on the right is Welcome to the Dark Moon Fairy. Fair. Fair. Fair, I think. I keep wanting to say fairy. I don't know why. I think both of these did come from a D-stash or no, a mystery box. But this is one of those shades of green that I really do think I would wear. Also, the flakies in here all are bright and iridescent and sometimes metallic. Actually, I think there might even be some glitter in here. Um, but nothing in here is prominently gold. And I really, really like this. Um, just to compare it to the one from Cameo Colors that I'm keeping, um, I, again, they're somewhat similar, but there's a lot more hollow in the one from Cameo Colors. It's more of a cream base in the one from Twisting Nether. But yeah, I like them. Um, this one, Welcome to the Dark Moon Fair. This one I might... Nope, I'm keeping. <laughs> 
there's hollow in there. It's beautiful. All right, so this is, it's, again, it's a very dark charcoal base, for, but for some reason, the tone of this one I'm liking more. Maybe by comparison, the other one leaned a little bit too towards the neutral charcoal side or even the brown charcoal side where this one has, uh, I don't know, maybe like a pinch of purple in it. I can't quite say. It's very dark, but I love the iridescent against it. Next up, we've got one from Jen and Berries and one from MDC. Someone told me what that stands for. Now I can't think of what it was. MDC. Was it something like my, my something, something? Anyways, <laughs> that one is called Songbird and it's a soft, like, uh, not quite robin's egg blue. There's not enough green in it, but it's a, a soft sky blue. And then I Love a Good Carol is from Jen and Berries. I'm keeping the one from Jen and Berries. I love the combination of things that are in here and it's beautiful berry toned. This one, I think I might de-stash it. Yeah, I think I might de-stash it. I have, I have other polishes in this color family. I mean, it even almost is like Happy Camper. Happy Camper is greener by comparison. I think I'm okay getting rid of that one. Then we have one from Oh My Jewels, one from Six Hearts. The one from Oh My Jewels is Mermaid Tails, and the one from Six Hearts is Butterfly Floofs. And I'm keeping Mermaid Tails. That is a really beautiful shade of deep teal, and the components in here are really, really beautiful. The one from Six Hearts is a delicate lilac shade. I just wonder if I have something that's somewhat close to this. I mean, that one's fairly close, but it has more prominent shimmer and some scattered hollow. Um, that Orly is Province at Dusk. Similar, but brighter toned. And again, it's just a cream. But... That's just the stuff that I have on my spring rack. So I think I'm okay getting rid of the Six Hearts Butterfly Floops. Then we've got one from Pampered Polishes. That one is Drink Me from HHC. And then one from My Darling Curios. Oh, that's what that is. It's My Darling Curios. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is the same brand as the one that had the little dog head on it. Uh, so Okay, so My Darling Curios. And this one is Summer of 95. And I think I will keep Drink Me from Pampered Polishes. It's got a really beautiful mix of iridescent flakies in here and hollow, and it's in that type of color range of purpley gray that I really, really like. So I don't think I have that color in that kind of finish yet. So now I do. <laughs> I'll just have to see about adding it to my, my app. This one I think I will get rid of. Uh, it's a really interesting combination. I just don't see myself reaching for this kind of combination. I love the purple and teal, but against this very almost skin toned peachy sheer base, I just don't know that I would reach for it on my skin tone, but someone else might really like it. Up next, we've got one from Trio Lacquer. This one is Little Sweetie. It's a really unique shade. I actually think I will hold on to this. You might have heard me say this before, but I love polishes that combine a lot of different colors. So you're seeing this as a pinky, sort of a watermelony base, but then you've got purple flakies in here and a gold shimmer. So you're seeing at least three different colors all at the same time. And I love that. This I think would make a beautiful topper over some of these colors for my summer rack. Maybe not quite that bright. That one's been totally washed out on camera. But yeah, picking a, a watermelon-y shade to put this over or even do this over maybe a purple, like a magenta-toned purple to see how all of the components would pop could be really, really fun. Next up, we've got one from Lacquered Up and another from Glistening Glow. The Glistening Glow is Little Black Dress, which is a black cream. And then we've got Sexy Santa from Lacquered Up. And I think I will get rid of the one from Lacquered Up it is that tone of red that is just not quite my favorite. It's got a beautiful array of components in it though. So I'm gonna put it in the de stash pile before I change my mind. <laughs> it's it's really pretty, but I just don't see myself wearing that tone of red. Like I said, I, I prefer the ones that are more berry toned leaning, a little bit pink leaning, um, orange leaning even, but not like red. Does that make any sense? I don't know. 
Oh, here's one from Glisten and Glow. This is a little black dress. Uh, a basic black cream. Again, I'm keeping it. Basic black creams are very, very useful. Almost done, people. The next one is from Fan Chromatic Nails. This is not a lady. I think I will de-stash this one. This is, again, in that sort of a color family of polishes that I was buying quite a lot of early on in my nail polish collecting, and I just haven't reached for them very often, so I think I will de-stash that one. That is 25, people. We are on a roll. Okay, there's two more from Jen and Berries. The one on the left actually didn't come with a label. That came from a mystery box, and I think so did this one, which is That's Mrs. Claus to You. So here, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the red that I'm de-stashing. And just to show you what I mean, by comparison, this one has more of that pinky, berry-leaning red, whereas this is, well, actually almost orange-leaning. But whatever the tone of it is, it's just not one that I see myself wearing, as, whereas this one I definitely can see myself wearing. So we're keeping the Jen and Berries. Although I am curious, where was the other one that came from Jen and Berries? Nope, totally different. Wasn't there another one that was like a red from Jen and Berries? Oh, maybe it was the one from Cuter Cuticles. Nope, definitely different. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the one that has no label from Jen and Berries is a white Crowley loaded with like crushed micro flakies and shimmer. I really need to find out what polish this is because I really do like it. I think I will keep this and try it out. Then we've got one from Sassy Cat's Lacquer. This one also didn't come with a label, but I'm pretty sure I know which one this is. In fact, I already have this one in my collection that I had purchased specifically from, I think it was in Polish Pickup. And then the one from Swamp Gloss is Sorry Baby. And I'm keeping this. Swamp Gloss is one of those brands that I have been loving as well. And the one from Sassy Cat's Lacquer. I'm going to have to see if I can find out what the name is, but I don't think I need two of them. So... If I can find what the name is, I'll make my own label for one and then de-stash the other. All right, two more. We've got one from Lollipop Posse. I think this one is just called Lollipop. And then another from Swamp Gloss. This is called Wanna Hang. Again, keeping the one from Swamp Gloss. And the one from Lollipop, I think I might go ahead and de-stash. It is a tone that I do like. In fact, it's kind of reminiscent of the one from Picture Polish called Wanderlust. But the one from Picture Polish has a little bit more white in it, so it's a bit more opaque. This one is a bit more on the jelly side. And they have a bunch of fun components in it. I just don't know that I would reach for it. Again, pinks are one of those shades where I'm branching out into certain families. But I seem to have favorites, so <laughs> we'll de-stash that and we'll let someone enjoy it. All right, just four more. We've got one from Prism Polish and one from Smoky Mountain Lacquer. Prism Polish is Lilac and Gooseberries, and the one from Smoky Mountain Lacquer is my Aiken Flake and Heart. I will be keeping the one from Prism Polish. I bought this specifically at, I think, Color for Nails. Beautiful polish, and I don't actually have too many from this brand. And then the one from Smoky Mountain Lacquer, I think I will go ahead and de-stash. Uh, again, sort of on the bubblegum shade range. Yeah, yeah, we'll de-stash that one. All right, two more. We've got one from Swamp Gloss and then one from Flirtin'. The Swamp Gloss is Get a Life. So the one from Flirtin' is Plant and Sip. Definitely keep the one from Swamp Gloss. Like I said, I don't think that's a surprise to anybody anymore. <laughs> The one from Flirtin is, again, that shade of green that I just don't see myself reaching for. It might be hard to tell on camera, but again, compared to the one from Cameo Colors, it's more of a deep jewel tone, so it's brighter. This one is more mysterious, and I just don't see myself reaching for it. So we'll de-stash that one. All right, so there we have it. We've got 29 polishes that I'm de-stashing from one bucket. That is a record for sure. I don't think I've ever gotten past the 20 mark. I don't think I've even gotten close to the 20 mark. I think 16 might have been the biggest amount before this. So woohoo, <laughs> that's a really awesome. Uh, so we accomplished a lot on the D-Stash front, not so much on the Bees Knees Lacquer. Obviously I didn't run across any of those missing bottles that I'm looking for, but hopefully I find them. I will have to go and add 
those polishes that I mentioned that I'm keeping to my nail polish app so that I can use some in my summer rack and get those organized and get my numbers right. Um, but sadly, none of these get to be deleted from my nail polish app. They haven't been added in the first place. <laughs> so my official nail polish counter won't go down by 29, but my actual bottle count in person will. So that's, that's something. I uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in that next one.